any clarifying lotion to review. Unfortunately, I don't have anything good to say about the product. I'm going to be upfront, honest, and tell you that I actually don't like this product. This is a product I'm going to be avoiding at all costs. Having said that, let me now get into the reasons why I actually don't like this product. Let me start with the first ingredient, denatured alcohol. It's way up on the ingredient list. It's like number two on the ingredient list. Now, this ingredient is going to make your skin very dry. In the immediate future, it can give you a squeaky clean feel. But in the very near long term, it's going to make your skin extremely dry and damage your skin's barrier function. What do I mean by damage the skin's barrier function? I'm going to come to that in a bit further down the video because there is another ingredient in this product which is also going to damage the skin's barrier function. So I'm going to talk about that ingredient first and then together I'll explain what this damaging of the skin's barrier function is. So denatured alcohol is an absolute no-no, especially when it's second on the ingredient list. The next ingredient I would like to talk about is witch hazel. It's like number three in the ingredient list. Yes, witch hazel does have some benefits. It's got compounds called tannins. Now, these tannins are vasoconstrictor, meaning if you've got any inflammation on the skin because of puffed up blood vessels, it'll go and reduce that puffiness. So any puffiness on the skin, tannins can help by reducing the puffiness. Tannins are also degreasing, meaning if you've got any excess oil, which is the excess sebum on the skin, it'll go and get rid of all that excess sebum. That's a good thing because excess oil will go clog the pores and that will cause some acne and blackheads and whiteheads. And so getting rid of excess sebum, excess oil is always a good thing and tannins can help with that. But you see, witch hazel is made up of alcohol distillation. Alcohol distillation process is used to make witch hazel. Now, more alcohol. So this can be very drying on the skin again. Now, it's going to damage the skin's barrier, the denatured alcohol and the witch hazel. What do I mean by that? In the very near term, it'll give you a very squeaky clean appearance, like, you know, you've got rid of all the dirt and your skin is shining and all that. But in the very near future, what it's going to do is, the visible layer of the skin acts as a shield. It's got two primary functions. It acts as a shield and prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment. And the second thing it does is it acts as a shield and protects the skin and prevents attacks from all the environmental nasties. Now, when this shield is broken, when this shield is compromised, what happens is water easily evaporates into the environment so that results in dehydrated skin and skin gets easily attacked by all the environmental nasties and that results in a lot of breakouts in the skin. So a compromised shield, a compromised skin's barrier makes skin dehydrated and very prone to breakouts and that's what the denatured alcohol which is so high up on the ingredient list and the witch hazel which is so high up in the ingredient list is going to do to the skin. Now the tannins in the witch hazel is also going to do something else. It's a sensitizer. What do I mean by that? I'm going to get to that in a bit because there's another ingredient in this product which is also a sensitizer. The other ingredient which is the sensitizer is methanol. Methanol is nothing but fragrance. It's going to give you that tingling, feeling, nice sensation. You might think everything is nice. No, 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 it's not. What it's going to do is it's a sensitizer. Meaning, what do sensitizers do? Sensitizers can cause an inflammation, can cause redness on the skin. Now, they can cause that and they can also tickle your immune system and tell your immune system, no, 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 you are allergic to all these other ingredients in this product, not just to me, but to all these other ingredients in this product. Normally, you would have been fine to all the other ingredients in this product, but the sensitizers go tickle the immune system and tell your immune system you are allergic to all these other ingredients, one or more of these other ingredients. And what does the immune system do? It responds with inflammation and redness. You see, inflammation and redness is never a good thing because especially in skin of color, inflammation and redness is going to result in excess production of melanin. Melanin is what gives the skin its color. This 
Excess melanin moves up to the visible layer of the skin and results in dark spots and uneven skin tone. You see how you might think these ingredients are the simple innocent little ones, but they've caused all these dark spots and uneven skin tone even before you realize. So that's a problem with sensitizers. So always be careful with products which has got sensitizing ingredients. So in this product, methanol and the tannins which is there in witch hazel are sensitizers. So there are a couple of good ingredients in the product that is some um, glycerin and sodium hyaluronate both of them are humectants humectants are water magnets they attract water from the environment and bring it to the surface of the skin and the purpose is to keep the skin hydrated but is it enough is it enough to compensate for the damage that the denatured alcohol and the witch hazel and the methanol has done to your face no it's not at all enough so yeah no point you see What's disappointing for me is a lot of us would look at the brand name Clinic and assume it must have a product of some value. So you might end up buying the product, especially because this is a step of a three step product. So you might think, oh, they put a lot of thought and effort into creating this multiple steps. So it must have some good effect on the skin. It's actually going to cause a lot of harm and in the very near future and leave your skin in a worse off state. So this is a product that I would avoid at all costs. So that's my recommendation. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to the channel. That will really help me a lot. I will see you in the next video. Up until then, bye for now.